Hey everyone, thanks for watching. It is 604 Comics here with my review for Star Wars number one. This is a brand new ongoing from Dark Horse Comics. I've never read any Star Wars comics. Uh, I've seen the movies a few times. Uh, I enjoyed them, but I wouldn't say I'm a huge fan. I know most of the main important characters, but I don't know some of the more obscure ones and I don't know most of the terminology. So. Uh, going into this as that kind of fan, I wanted to see if I would enjoy reading about Star Wars. Um, the events uh, that take place in this series happen after Episode 4, after the Death Star has exploded. What we have here is we've got Luke and we've got Leia. They're flying around trying to find a planet for the Rebels to inhabit because um, all the other planets are either too scared to... to um, Hold the rebels or they don't have the resources or or the terrain is not ideal for them so what they're doing is they're trying to find a planet so that they can go on um, while they're trying to do that they get attacked by some of the Empire um, aircrafts like I said I don't know all the terminologies but um, they're being attacked by the rebels and what happens is uh, Leia uh, I guess hits one of them with a missile and then they land on uh, Domin D Dominus, I believe that's the planet that's there they're around. Let me just take a look here. Um, Dominus, yes. So Leia hits one of the bad guys and they crash land onto Dominus. Um, Leia sees the Empire aircraft, it's crash landed. And then she's got the super huge gun, and she goes and hunts down um, the pilot and just blasts him and kills him. So, um, I think in the movies, Leia's portrayed as more of a helpless type of character, but in this comic, she really takes charge. She's flying planes, she's got the guns, and she's fighting with the best of them. So, I thought that was pretty cool. We've got a couple of pages here with Han Solo and Chewbacca. They don't really get involved in this issue, but we'll probably see them down the road. Um, I guess what's happening is there is a spy within the Rebel Alliance, and Leia's been tasked by Mon Mothma. Is that her name? Mon Mothma, I want to say. But she's been tasked with uh, trying to either find a new planet for them to live on or seek out who the spy is. So. She's been given this secret superative task. Superative. Is that a word? Superative. It is now. But she's been given this task and she's uh, tasked to assemble her own team to figure out who the spy is. So that is probably going to be the first story, story arc. And then towards the end we've got uh, Darth Vader. And he, I guess, is paying the price for his failure at Yavin. And um, um, this, his master has sent him on a mission, which we don't know what it is exactly, but once he arrives at his destination, it's supposed to be all come clear. So um, for this issue, as a Star Wars movie enjoyer, uh, I really found this issue pretty good. There was a lot of reading, definitely. Brian would put a lot of text in this issue. So it took me a while to read it. And um, some of the terminology, again, uh, I wasn't too familiar with. And there was a lot of um, pilot speak. So it was a more longer read than usual. So um, if you're not into that, then this might not be your comic, but uh, I definitely li I definitely liked it. And I can definitely see myself continuing to read this comic and uh, reading more about what happens in between um, The New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back. Overall, as the very first issue, uh, I enjoyed it. The art was alright. It's pretty true to the movies. You've got uh, the facial characteristics. They're all pretty good. And I liked how, um, who's the artist? Um, Carlos, Carlos Danda, um, he was able to give Darth Vader facial expressions. Even though he's wearing a mask, you can, you can see that, uh, 
Sometimes he looks angry and sometimes he looks, um, yeah. But yeah, Darth Vader, even with the mask, you can, you can see that he's got some facial expressions. So I thought that was kind of cool. And uh, all the other art with all the aircrafts and the fight scene, that was pretty good. So I enjoyed the art very much for this issue and uh, this cover is really nice. Um, who did the cover? Alex Ross, of course. Alex Ross did this amazing cover for Star Wars number one. So overall, this issue is really good. I'm gonna give this a, I'm gonna give this a 4.5. I'm gonna make this my issue of the week. Definitely go pick this up, Star Wars. If you're a big fan of Star Wars, I don't have to convince you. But even if you're not a huge fan of Star Wars, pick it up as a comic fan. There is a digital code for this. Uh, you can't redeem it on Comixology. But you can go to darkhorse.com and redeem it, and I will be giving that out right there. Punch it in there and redeem your code. If you redeem it, make sure you leave a comment and let everyone else know. Um, this is 604 Comics, and thank you for watching my reviews for this week. Um, check out my pull list video for January 9th and leave a comment. Recommend a comic for me. Um, that I can pick up on Sunday so I can do a review and see if I enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate all your support, and I will see you guys later. Thanks.